I am Jamie Grubel Poser, and I am a bronze medalist in women's bobsled. I love bobsled so much because I'm a very competitive person. Growing up, I was really competitive with my brother. Um, anything that we did, we were competing, whether it was a simple thing like getting in the car first or um, who could get in the bathroom first, we were, that's where my competitive nature began. I'm Christian Poser, bobsledder and world champion. I began 2008 uh, with bobsledding, and before I was a former track and field athlete, I did the 100 and 200 meter race. One day somebody asked me from the bobsled team if I want to try it, and yeah, I just did it and tried it, and I think I, I did a good job, so that's how it is. The first time I ever got in a bobsled, I was terrified and I hated it. It was really intense. After my first time down the track, I never thought I would ever do it again. <laughs> I'm coming from an area in Germany where bobsled or winter sport, it's not so common. So that was kind of strange for me because we have no big mountains here or something like that. <laughs> Um, so I had actually gotten into grad school at the time, and the same girl who, who took me for my first ride down the track called me and asked me if I could come do two competitions with her. And once I got to compete in the sport of bobsled, I totally fell in love with it. I suddenly had a new passion to pursue. My first competition uh, was, I think, 2009 at the Europe Cup, and I was pretty nervous. Um, my biggest victory was in 2011 because we won the World Championships. I was still young and learned a lot and we had a great team and I really enjoyed it. My best moment as an athlete was winning the bronze medal in Sochi. Um, as an athlete, you dream about the Olympics your whole life and to actually be at the Olympics and compete at the Olympics was totally surreal. So for me, it was such an amazing moment. It was very special for me to have my family in Sochi, Russia for the Olympics. They were actually in the stand when I crossed the finish line with my husband, Christian, so to have everyone together to share that moment with me meant so much. The last uh, Olympic Games in Sochi, they are really different for me because the German team did not really good and Jamie did really good. So I had a laughing eye and a crying eye. The most difficult moment for me in my sports career was when I was injured in 2012. We had a national team camp in Colorado Springs and we were playing soccer as a team building activity. And I went to kick the ball and my coach went to kick the same ball, except he kicked right through my knee instead of the ball. I tore my ACL and it was pretty devastating because I had trained so hard that summer. It was a pretty hard time for me. I think the best quality of Jamie is that she can be like extremely focused on something what she really loves. What would I change on Jamie? Actually, there's nothing I would change, but sometimes it would help her taking stuff not too seriously. The first time I ever met Christian was at a World Cup in Whistler, Canada. Uh, we were in the start house and I noticed him looking at me. He kept looking at me each day at training and I eventually decided to go over and introduce myself to him. I just got to her and tried to talk to her, but it was really, really hard because at this time my English was actually not so good. The next time I spoke with Christian, we were in Lake Placid and I was waiting in line for the bathroom and he came up to me and said that he liked me and he asked me if I was going to the party for the World Cup. The day after the party, uh, Christian went back to Germany and I wasn't sure if we would continue to talk, but sure enough, he found me on social media and he got my number somehow and I started getting all of these messages from him. Over the next three months, we had to use a translator to talk uh, because I didn't know much of German and he didn't really remember much of the English he learned in school. The most romantic time with Jamie was for sure our wedding. 
because it was just a romantic place in like a little castle and just our family. So that was, I think, extremely romantic. <laughs> the first time I came to Germany and Christian showed me all around in Potsdam, I was really excited and amazed. And I thought, wow, people really live here. Um, to me, it was like a fairy tale with all of the castles. When I asked her to marry me, I was extremely nervous. And the other thing is in America, it's tradition that um, you have to ask her dad first. So that was also not so easy for me, but I just did it. When Christian proposed to me, uh, we were home at our apartment in Germany and I was taking a shower. And while I was in there, he put candles all over the house and dressed up in a suit. And when I came out, he asked me to marry him. And it was a really special moment for us. After our wedding in the US, I actually didn't get to go on a honeymoon with my husband. He left for Germany and we didn't see each other for four months. It's hard to live in different countries, especially when they are over the sea. But we know that before that it wouldn't be so easy. And at this time right now, where you have like cell phones and the internet, it makes it, it makes it a lot easier because you can see you in the phone and you can have FaceTime, Skype, and all these programs where you can talk to each other. So that makes it a lot of easier, but it's still not the same. Um, it's hard, but um, we know someday there will be an end of that and then we will live finally together and then it's over with it, long phone calls and all that stuff. And it's like also a training for us because it's not always easy and we have to work on it and relationships are something where you have to work on and this is like, like our training. Like we train every day to stay in touch and still give the other person the feeling that you are there and it's it's good good training <laughs> the most unaccepted surprise what jamie got me was when she told me that she would move to germany and would leave her family and friends at home so i was really surprised but also happy that she would do that for me and i know that's like a really really big step for her and it's not easy for her but one of us has to move to the other country. So I'm glad that she did it and I'm proud of her that she can make this step for me. I am a teacher and for me, I'm a little bit more flexible with where I can work and luckily there are some options in Berlin to teach in English. It's definitely challenging to have such a long distance relationship. Sometimes it's an eight, our time changed between the two of us and with jet lag and our training, it just, it's, it's hard to, you know, just fly home for the weekend and see each other. So sometimes. Now, normally in the season, we see us almost every day, but we are not in the same hotel. In this way, we can live together for part of the year, but part of the year we have to live apart. It's not perfect, but I think it's okay. We decided to have two weddings because our families come from Germany. So um, in April, I came to Germany and we started looking at venues. Um, and the first time I ever visited Christian, I was really blown away by how many castles there were. And it was always my dream to get married in one. So we started looking and planning um, and it was really exciting. And we were actually able to find a castle that we were able to get married in. Yeah, for me, it was good because we had actually like two weddings, one in Germany and then one um, with Jamie's family in America. So, and after we get done the official wedding in Germany, like with my family, I really could enjoy the, the wedding with Jamie's family in America because it was more like a big party and mm -hmm. it was really fun. So we enjoyed it. Yeah. One day we'd like to have a family and um, We'd like them to speak English and German because those are our roots. And, um, you know, right now I'm still learning German, but I think I've come a long way in four years. Um, and hopefully it'll be a little easier for our kids someday to learn German and English from the beginning, right? Yeah, Jamie did a great job in learning German in just a couple of years. So I'm really proud of her. And yeah, I think one day it's time for a kid, maybe two, we'll see. <laughs>